Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, this is my daily video. I just want to get everything out and be as condensed as possible because there's actually quite a few things I want to announce and a few updates that I want to um, keep you guys in the loop with about. I have no idea what the fuck I'm saying. Um, anyways, so I basically, this is a series where I, it's not really a series, it's not any content, like this is a no content video so if you if you don't give a shit you can not watch it. Um, but this is a video where I talk about just some of the things that's going on in my life and what I'm planning to do for the channel um, th throughout the next week. So any plans that I have for my life or anything, any plans I have for my channel. Um, so first things first, probably the biggest thing is I'm moving to Canada, well no I'm, I'm, no, I'm moving. Um, I'm flying to Canada for I guess you could call it a vacation uh, for the, just going going home really, just uh, going, gonna go there and see some friends and stuff and uh, yes just see some old friends and stuff like you know from from my church there and stuff like because that's where that's where I originated from I would not well actually I wouldn't say originated but like where I grew up right where I grew up I grew up in Canada and I'm um, going back to Vancouver and just gonna chill there for someone just pulled the Persephone I'm just gonna chill there for about two weeks and come back I know this might sound a little bit different from what I was saying before. I did actually mention it like last week or last last week. Um, originally, I had the plan of going to Canada. Main purpose was to avoid the army, army service of Taiwan because I also hold a Canadian passport. I can just um, say I'm living in Canada, I live there, and I'm a Canadian, blah blah blah. And um, <laughs> I don't have to do the army service. But the problem is I can only stay in Taiwan for 183 days. And that ended when I graduated from university. So I've been spending the last uh, few months of my life just basically preparing for for grad school. Um, you know, taking the GRE TOEFL, like applying, writing my writing my uh, what you call it, the statement of purpose. Yeah, for for my grad school. But um, I've been spending the last like few months or or so of my life just basically being a neat and that. Um, you know, you're. Um, if you're Asian, if you're Asian, like a, a lot of people probably don't actually wait. No, if you're Asian, you probably know this. But if you're Asian, your parents would be okay with you doing anything as long as it's about getting a higher education, um, which is what I'm doing. I'm basically saying I'm going to grad school, so I'm so I get to be another be a neat, and they're okay with it for an, for a little little while longer. Um, definitely not going to keep doing this, you know. Just at the at the most until I. Um, I don't know, I think it's a really good chance, like right now I'm working really hard at the same time to get my YouTube channel running. I think I brought it back to life, it was, it was, com my YouTube was completely dying and I'm actually still losing subscribers like every single day but um, at the same time I'm gaining subscribers faster so it's, it's kind of balancing out, you know. Two things are definitely balancing out. Um, you guys might not understand anything I'm saying. I'm, I'm like all over the place with my storytelling. I'm, I'm really, really bad at storytelling. But all right, if you just, if you guys just want the facts, um, Taiwan needs to do everyone to need all males need to do army service. I don't want to do army service. I want. I'm going to. Original plan was to escape to Canada, so I don't have to do army service. And um, I found out a new rule that actually I can come back after January 1st and I can stay for another 180 days um, so that's what I'm doing so I'm basically coming back and uh, being being more of a scrub for another 180 days I don't know a lot of people make the joke that YouTube's not a real job I mean I'm not really making any money but I'm, I'm kinda starting out and for me it's it's really nice that my my parents are okay with me uh, just leeching off them for a little bit longer because I'm I don't know, I, I, I do have a lot of confidence in myself that I'm gonna I'm gonna make it big, alright? I'm gonna make it big. Um not not just in YouTube, but also in if I can if I can uh you know, apply and get into grad school. There's a lot of really, really cool things I'm I'm definitely gonna be able to do if I if I do eventually um, get in. And 
you know, e but even if I don't, I, I think I can still, I, I think I'm working really, really hard and, and my channel is growing steadily. So at, at a certain point, like things are, it's, it's like a snowball, you know, I'm trying to get the snowball going. E and I think as I, as I keep doing this, it's going to be faster and faster. Like I'm going to have more and more people um, watching and stuff. As long as I, as long as I keep this up and keep the snowball rolling, I think. Um, so... Basically, yeah, so, so the thing is like, you know, after that, um, I'm planning to come back and just keep doing what I'm doing before like this. So I'm not going to stop making content, even if I'm, <laughs> even if I'm in Canada, I'm basically going to bring my laptop there. I'm still going to record every single day and, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just chill. I'm just there to chill and I, I don't really have anything I, I like absolutely need to do. But probably gonna spend a few days going out, um, meeting some people that I haven't met in a long time. You know, just, just like really old friends of the family and really old friends from uh, my church there, and um, yeah, just just stuff like that. Um, also, going back and and uh, you know checking out my my old favorite like restaurants and stuff, just eating there and shit. Going, going, going back home. I, I always think of Vancouver as my home because it's it's where I grew up as a child, you know, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm just I'm just going home for for a week and just you know, although I don't I don't I don't have a house there or anything like that. It's still, I still consider it my home. I'm just going back there and gonna gonna be there for I think a week or two. I'm not not exactly sure because. Originally, I was going to stay there for a long time, like for a few months, until I eventually get into grad school, if I get into grad school, and, um, but I, I found out about this new rule where I can come back and stay for another 180 days, so that's basically me trying to, um, be what, do what gamers do and exploit whenever there's an exploit possible. I don't know, does everybody do exploits? I always feel like whenever there's an exploit in the game, everybody does it. You know, like in, in, in Monster Super League, when there was the variant method, everybody did it. You know, because it was like normal. It's like part of the system. It's a it's a loophole that the developers created in the system. It's not it's not my fault. Like It's not like I'm breaking the law. Right? I just found a loophole in the law that I can abuse. Um, I think that's one of the best qualities I have as a gamer. Um, it, it works as a double-edged sword. Um, I'm the type of person who doesn't like to complain about how a game should be. Like if they nerf things or if they make changes, I don't like. You know when they when they made the changes to the armor buff, I never was like, oh my god, fuck this ruined my life. I can't do I can't do my full sustain team. I basically I, I adapted and I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work. Um, just I accepted the fact that they fucked me, and. And moved on, you know. I, I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna build my SAP team. All right, let's. Um, I've tested some things out. It's not gonna work. All right, whatever. I'm gonna build my SAP team. Um, change your plans, you know. Just, just basically adapt. And the the reason why this works is a double-edged sword because is because I I mainly play to you know I'm I'm, I'm pretty competitive. I think as a gamer, I I pretty much play to win. Um, and. You know, I always want to win whichever, whichever game I'm playing. But I, at the same time, this also leads to me like if if I ever find a loophole in a game, I'm the type of person to just exploit like like hell. You know, like like fucking mad. Um, you know, if if the developers leave in a loophole in the game for me to exploit, um, you you best be sure that I will abuse that shit ten times worse than the asshole of a Japanese schoolgirl on the morning train of a Chikon hentai, alright? Yes, that is, um, that is something I said. I don't know, I, I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, no, that, that's not a good quote. Don't, 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 um, don't fucking print it out, record me and, and like, frame it, or actually, wait, no. Don't, don't make a meme out of it, don't make a meme out of it. Um, <laughs> I yeah I'm, I think there's pretty much nothing nothing left like that was, that was basically it I think I I do the same thing in real life as well like I I uh like in in games on YouTube and also in real life 
Like if there's a, if I basically I, I identify the mechanics of a system, and I, I just, like I either, I don't know if it's the right word, but I basically I optimize it. You know, I optimize whatever I need to do in order to get the most out of it. You know, just optimize my time efficiency. You know, progression. That's basically what I'm, what I'm, what I'm all about. But at the same time, like. You know, if the if the optimization, like if the best way possible is to do something that people would consider um, either either like exploits or like something dirty, then I would still do it anyways because that's the best way possible for me to to win. Um, I don't know. I I guess <laughs> I guess I'm the type of asshole that that would always fight dirty, like if it means I can win. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll do that on YouTube as well, you know, I, I, I like clickbait like crazy, like if you haven't noticed, just look at my channel, like every single one of my videos is fucking clickbait. Um, <laughs> I, I also do a lot of optimization for like SEO and like tags and everything, like if you look at my description on YouTube, like it is long as fuck, like I just, I just pretty, pretty much included everything in my description. Do you think that was done on... Do you think that was done just like, uh, th do you think that just happened? No, it was done on purpose, alright? Just, like, I had to keep in, just, um, just like, you know, like, if I do a series or something, like, I will describe the shit out of that series and keep in as many keywords as possible so YouTube can find it and, and share my videos. Um, I don't know, I think of YouTube as a game. I really do think of YouTube as a game. Like, I, I, not, I don't just enjoy making the content for YouTube, I enjoy making the fucking clickbait for YouTube as well, you know? I, <laughs> every single time I finish making a clickbait video, like, after I find some anime image to put in the background, and, uh, maybe copy and paste some characters in the game, put it in the front, you know, put in big, big text, uh, <laughs> and then, like, always, like, oh my god, like, fucking luckiest summons ever, um, you know, and then, like, title all caps, um, <laughs> yeah, like, every, every time I finish doing that, I just look at that thumbnail, and I'm like, damn, that, that is a fucking work of art, um, now that, I do think of clickbaiting as an art, I think of it as, like, you know, just, you can't, like, there's a, there's a certain beauty in it. There's a certain beauty in making something that is like, like finding the balance between like s making a something that is subtle, and then <laughs> something that would like be straight out clickbait. You know, clickbait can't be straight out clickbait. Like I can't just toss in a shit ton of boobs. Like I have to make it like somewhat related to it, and then like um, people would subconsciously click it. All right. Like how how would I how should I say this? Finding the balance between okay, if anyone saw any videos, like if I had a bunch of Monster Super League videos pop up, they would be more likely to click my video instead of any other video because of the thumbnail or the title. Or, and um, at the same time, they won't complain and tell me it's clickbait. Like then that is the that is the perfect like just. That's the sweet spot, you know. Just wanna, just wanna find that sweet spot. And when you, when you think you did it, like, cause I don't know exactly if I did it, but when I make something and I think I, I did a good job, like I, I just, um, you know, I just, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. All right, it's like when you're finished making, like, just, uh, carefully sculpting this um, statue or some shit like that. It's, it's exactly like that. That, that, that feeling that artists get. Um, I'm pretty fucked up. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm I'm a really 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 fucked up person. Like I, <laughs> this I maybe this will give you guys a little bit uh, more of an inside look about me, just as a person. I just it's, I guess this is what this video is for. It's for the people that care about just like more than just the content I'm making. Um, people that um have an interest in just me as a personality um on YouTube. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think I'm just gonna keep working on what I've been working on before, and uh, keep doing what I what I do. And I think a lot of you guys do do really enjoy my content. So thank you guys for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for for all your support. Um, just you know, just by watching my stuff, it's it's definitely helping me a lot. And um, even the people that like 
you know, don't necessarily like the stuff that I'm making right now, but um, still still support me because they they have been doing that for a long time. Um, thank you guys so much for for your continuous support. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest. I like you know I I fucked up a lot the past four months or so, or like you know before before the when I started Monster Super League, like those those four months. I I fucked up really really bad and. Um, Honestly, I don't. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve the the support that you guys are giving me. But um, thank you guys so much to the people that that have stuck around with me. Yeah, and also thank you guys to the people that have joined me recently. Um, you guys have just you know definitely definitely um, saved me from that from that the the the, uh, the, the, the gaping abyss of losing the, the you know all the youtubers losing subscribers and stuff I think I'm I've made a comeback from that so yeah I'm gonna keep working on what I do like I'm gonna start just what well, I'm gonna start like I'm gonna keep working hard and definitely definitely I'll not let you guys down um, damn shit got real anyways I'll, um, I'll I'll fuck you guys later all right peace